Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte's adventure in Factorio. Well, what's happening today? Well, I don't know. We're gonna check out this area out here and see how much iron is making its way down. And we're gonna go from there. So it looks like there is plenty of iron. It's being consumed here at a rapid rate to grab all this stuff. And what I was thinking of doing is creating more of these to produce more. But I think the problem with that is these guys. We might have too many of these bad boys here actually. But this is all filled up. And as you can tell it's all going to the one side. And it'll come into here and this will remain full, right? But that needs to happen when this is completely full. And we have our buffering system here, right? So we'll see how this buffers up. Yeah, so we're going to use a lot of iron, unfortunately. And that's why it's barely making its way down there. Uh, sometimes it is. There's batches. But that's because when this is completely full, I think. So the research is continuing. We're, we're, we're researching the rocket silo. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what else is going on here? What do we have here? So still don't have extra stone, hey? Uh, how are the bricks doing? Okay, cool. This is not full. Uh, why is this not producing? Oh, because I disabled the bricks. That's right. Turn that back on because I needed some bricks for uh, processing. So if we run down over here... Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do today. We're just going to play it and go from there, I think. So let's see here. So if you put this like that, that will be ready for pickup. Okay. Um, where's the train? That's right. We need to create the radar units all around. So maybe that's what we'll do today. We'll do something non-offensive in that sense. We'll create some radar stations and... Yeah, go from there. I think we have some in here somewhere. Let's do that. We got one logistic robot. Let's throw that into the wild. Not sure where we got that one from. Maybe as we, uh, maybe we picked it up or whatever from somewhere. Okay. Um, storage chests. Not sure why I need those. So okay, we got the radar guys. We got walls. We got turrets. We need a few more bullets and maybe a few more turrets. So turrets, we'll make sure we have a full stack of, like so, right? And then we shall also make sure that we have, throw those in there, throw those in there, we don't need that. Uh, let's make sure that we have a stack of those, good, good, good. Okay, I'm just kind of quickly taking a, a peek. We should be okay with power. Uh, those away um, okay no I think we're okay I think we can just pick up some some more ammo here and let's see here Ooh, look at this it's filling up nicely so let's grab a bunch of ammo like so um, how do how much do radar units cost um, ah, they're, they're cheap okay so let's go um, we need some solar panels as well. We need some of these bad boys. And then we need some of these ones over here. No wait, that's not it. These guys. Accumulators. I think we need more solar panels and accumulators, but that's okay. Stack of each should do. Okay. So let's run down this way. Let's check this out here. So this is our system. There's all that wood that we kind of injected into the system, right? These will use that eventually. All right. Um, performance sh should be at peak for this stuff because the water should be fully functioning. I think it's nighttime, so that's why they're kicking on. Let's check out these areas. These areas are still functioning. Oh, this one's not. This is getting smaller. Exciting, exciting. So we probably don't need this anymore. Okay, and then we can probably just run the belt straight up. 
right? And let's do lots of ore in here, that's for sure. Throw that in there. They're probably only shipping as much as necessary because of the way we're injecting everything into the system. So that's kind of cool. So we know we have lots of resources because those guys aren't hauling ass on those things. So let's go over this way. Let's check this deposit out. So this deposit is dwindling. You can definitely tell. It's taken a long time, but it is kind of being consumed. Um, I think once it gets down to these two down here, uh, then we'll start looking more. Um, looks like we need a balancer in place here now. So we will put that in. It's obviously going to be on the one side. And let us... Where's more belt? I guess I have it in my, my tool belt here. Oops. I hit the T instead of the R. There we go. That should stock up both sides, basically. There we go. Let's dump this stuff into here. Uh... uh I can't even put it in there. There's a way of throwing stuff on the ground. Um, uh, what is it? Let's go into the control scheme and we'll check that out. I don't usually like to do this on camera, but today we will. So, uh, you can drop items. Uh, I don't see it, do you? I see pick... Oh, here it goes, Zed. There it go. So, I'm not sure how these drop, so maybe I'll point and push Z. Ah, there you go. That's pretty cool. One at a time. Uh, these guys are depreciated, basically, now. This outpost, we got this power line going up this way. Let's check it out. We got one going up that way, too. We got this I want to take care of. Of course, I want to kind of rape all these resources, right? Uh, oh, yeah, this power line goes up here, I guess. Is that a redundant line we got these guys coming up to here because of this deposit which actually now we need to oh, I didn't position it right okay that's actually pretty good so we can do that we can do this pick this up just good timing actually okay let's reposition this bad boy like so and let's make sure we put this guy back like that and how much iron 385 okay we'll let it do its thing then we'll have to take that at some point okay so radar units so basically the radar units you'll see one here one here there's two in the middle here one here one here so we're gonna come down here and position our first one I think because it's easier from there versus the center of the base because you can't really see the radar units anymore from the center of the base so let's head down this way here. Man, that rocket silo is taking a long time. This must be a lot of research. Uh, maybe the materials are running low, but... Okay, so if you go map... So basically the way the radar works is it's it's one more square larger than your area that you see. Right? So... Meaning, we should be up around here somewhere. And basically all you do is you move, you find a position, and you see where it looks like on the radar and you keep going until you find the right spot uh, I think we went too far, nope and basically now, see over here on the left oh no yeah we went too far but see these boxes that kind of appear, oh what's that um, shit let's put these here in place Okay, what's going on? They're engaging up there. Because, yeah, the pollution, unfortunately. Mm. Pollution is extending. That's dangerous. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Oh, it's because they're just over there. Okay, no big deal. So let's see here. So basically, I'm watching for this radar unit. So, uh, you know, for there to be one space there and one space down here. Because there's these little squares that appear that you can kind of see based on the pollution. If that makes sense to you. Uh, let's see. I think right here, maybe. No, a little bit further down. Hopefully not where the deposit is. And I think out oh, this way a bit. Right about here. 
let's see what happens with that. Uh, okay, so a tad more. So I'm trying to be in the, in the middle of this square. It doesn't need to be precise, but it needs to be in the middle. So I think that's right here. So let's clear out this area here, like so. Boom, bada bing. And let's change our weapons. Let's shoot that out. Okay, now we're gonna place our radar unit where we're where, where we're standing, which is right here. Right? Now we're gonna place some defenses here. One, two, um, no, actually it should be like that, like that, and like that. I like this design. Um, it's almost too close because this fact, right? We need to put in a power unit somewhere. Hmm. Let's kind of place the power guy here, All right? And then we can place. Let's build. Let's try building a laser turret now. And what we're going to do with the laser turrets is the laser turrets are going to. Uh, there's going to be one laser turret in these things and I'm going to put them kind of on the back part of the radar units so when your units come nearby it's going to shoot at them. Apparently they have a larger range as well but they use a lot of power, right? And that's the only problem I have. <laughs> so we're going to put the laser probably like this. And then we'll kind of reposition these a little bit again. Maybe put this guy like that, put that guy like this. Maybe like this. Actually, it's not too bad. That fits. Let's kind of fill these guys up, these bad boys up. And then we're going to put in a lamp right where is the best spot. I always like to put lights. And then we'll have to put this in a box. So we'll do something like this. I like doing exact boxes because it doesn't matter really. All this is is a defense. Um, against kind of biters running in towards you, if that makes sense. And we're going to start getting more and more attacks, I, th I think, because of just where we are, right? So, where'd these come from? Probably down here. There's no reason for them to come from down here, but they are. So we're going to have to place these radar units so that way they don't keep spawning. I think that's part of the, the problem. So because these radar units are here, they won't spawn. So, maybe this base will stay down here. Oh, what the hell is that? That was kind of buggy. Put that there, and then we'll put it inside here. Let's see here. Maybe we'll pick this one up and put it... Pick this one up, maybe even. Huh. I'm just trying to see uh, the the best way of connecting this in, right? Maybe we'll take these out. Okay. And maybe let us put kind of this guy like this. Like this. Maybe something like that. So now it's it, it's hooked in. Okay, let's put some lights out, because we always like to do lights, right? Do this, do this like this. Okay, so now you'll see, now it covers this whole area, and then we'll do some more scanning in this area. Now we need to take out these guys, and maybe these guys down here, position and radar units down here, maybe we'll fill in our, our territory a bit. But we'll go up this way, let's pick up these, these turrets. Let's build another laser. It's actually, let's build up all of these guys. Let's go run up this way. Let's actually just run up along where the radar unit is, which is like this. And we're going to do the same thing just up here. Lots of fun. <laughs> um, kind of have to wait a little bit sometimes because it, it doesn't click in but I think right here I think it, it will disappear just have to give it a second there we go so I think we're about in the middle maybe up like this 
I think that's the middle. So now we're going to chop a bunch of trees down again. Oh, I love this part of the game. Whew. Okay, we chopped these down. We're still watching the rocket silo stuff go up. Kind of want to get this done and get this working on so we can watch a launch before Alpha 13 comes out. So I'm not going to update until I'm done this campaign. Um, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, so let's place a radar guy. Okay, let's place a, a laser unit. Like so. And then let's place these guys. Like so. Sort of. I think we're going to have the power in the back. Uh, well, we'll have the power here. And then we'll carry it that way. We'll put in a light. Because that's what we do. And we'll put in the turrets. Hmm. Maybe we'll pick up the light. <laughs> put this guy here, this guy here. Put in the light over here. So the reason I'm putting both kinds is because of I want in case there's no power that these guys will shoot is the kind of the, the theory I have <laughs> might be all wrong but that's what I feel and hopefully it's it'll be the the correct judgment so let's go up this way so let's see yeah so so yeah so if you're still watching this stuff I appreciate you watching these episodes I appreciate you taking the time to watch my content even though my content could be interesting could be boring who knows uh yeah <laughs> but i definitely do appreciate it it's that's for sure and uh yeah it's just it's it's interesting this game is just fascinating it's, it's it's one of those games where it's like minecraft to me right i could continue playing this game uh, who knows for long long time right so it's just I don't know. It, it works nicely. It it's well designed. the The developers are working really hard at at kind of doing bug fixes, and I don't know. It just seems very smooth. The game itself is is pretty much complete. Like it's pretty much a game. It's playable. Uh, there's no show stopping bugs that happen, and it yeah. Overall, it just works, right? Let's take a look at this. Production's up. We've got plenty plenty of product. Uh, so I think. Consumption. So there's. I don't know. I don't know how to read this. I don't know if it's because I don't have enough power, or production. Or am I not producing 100%? So therefore, consumption is able to be maxed. And when this reaches to over, then this goes down, I think, because then you're maxed, right? Here we go, steam engine's kicking in. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I think that's what it is, just by watching this. Let's see, you got steam engines kicking in. Because if it needed power, the steam engines would kick in, right? You During the day, the, the solar panels themselves wouldn't be enough. And now the accumulators should kick in. Ah, so the, basically, steam engines kick in then the accumulators so we need a system that disengages so we need something that separates the solar panels from the the steam engines right which then uses the accumulators and basically the accumulators I think use up the rest like the difference and so this is where this comes into play and we'll see how long this this lasts it should last through the the night, as you can see right here, right? Because now what you're going to find the accumulator is going to be turning off, and then yeah, and then basically these will kick in. So let's go back to the five seconds. One minute. Yeah, see now they're starting to, to fall off, right? And then now it's slowly switching back to solar. So yeah, so we got lots of capacity. Oops, wrong button. Um, good, good. So we got that in place. Let's put another one up here. Actually, let's. Are we empty? No, we're not empty. So let's go near the robots here. I might remove these robots once they're done. Once it's done mining, 
um, basically right away. <laughs> that means I can remove this whole little tiny outpost. Um, just like so. How much is in here? 18. Okay, good, good, good. I could probably just pick it up and have them take it from me. Probably would work out better. Come on, boys. Then we can kind of dismantle this. We're going to use a robot to do that with. There we go. They're picking it up slowly. And they're giving me more resources, I betcha. Right? <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, they are. They're bringing me resources as well as taking from me. See, I just love that. That's so cool. Yeah, look at that. Look at all of them coming. All from the different directions there. I just love that. And then they come here, they recharge, they move on, right? And then if they're if they need to be used, they you know get to be used. So these robots are very useful. Okay. I want to place another radar unit here, and I want to place more up here. So I want to place four more. So we need to build four of these bad boys. One, two, three, four. All right. So that used up our steel. So now we're going to get a shipment of steel in. Um, let's see. What else do we have here that we would need? Okay, perfect. So let's let's dismantle this. We don't need this anymore. Uh, just like so. Bang. It's in here. Grab those. So we'll have to throw them into the wild there. So what's going on? Oh no, I see. I see. You, you see what I see? They're going to take this. Yeah, no, no, I don't know if I like that. They're going to take this and basically... Just throw those guys in there then. They're not taking it. That's okay. So we need to get into the system again here. And we need to throw these guys back into it. Okay. And a bunch of these boys. Where are they? Oh, no. Okay. It did it for me. Good. Good. Uh, let's get more blue inserters. Because we obviously need those. All right. Let's throw this... Let's throw this into here. Throw that into the system. Uh, yeah, I guess it could have took, you know, took and taken, whatever you want to call it. All this stuff, it could have you taken it into storage. Okay, well, let's carry on then. Uh, let's wait for materials, I guess. Wait for those guys to come in too. There we go. Oh, they need to charge. A lot of robots. Uh, there we go. Okay, perfect. So now off we go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Let's see here. So let's place those guys and then we'll call it a day. And then we'll do combat, I think, next time. Because that's kind of what it's going to lead towards, I think. So yeah, <laughs> so we're going to go up from this point, you can kind of see where they are, we have one here and we got one over here, so we're going to position it about in here, there might be some oil here, no that's just copper, it's around here somewhere I think, it's the sweet spot, uh, no it's actually up right here, a little bit more, right here, right where I am, okay, so with that in mind, Let's position this thing. Perfect. Let's position this thing. Okay. Now we can do this stuff. Boom. Well, we need to place our power. Right. Power. We need to put in a light. Right. 
Ooh. Like that. And then we'll put in the turrets. This is always a different design. Isn't that funny? How that works out. It's because of the way I'm trying to position them on the radar unit. And unfortunately, because you need power, it's never going to be symmetrical. So I just, whatever. I don't uh, I don't worry about it. You know, kind of have OCD in that sense where I, I would like to have it symmetrical and looking nice. But same note, it's just a game and it doesn't matter. <laughs> so... But definitely the OCD kicks in, like, you know, just a minor level of it, and it just, it's like, ah, this needs to be symmetrical, you need to come up with a, a design that's symmetrical. <laughs> so, maybe one day, one day, maybe just make it a big a diagonal diamond, and there you go, maybe I'll make a blueprint out of it, and just go bang, 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 right? Maybe I should, maybe that's the right thing to do. So now, I want to kind of bring this back to the main system, right? instead of okay now it seems to be working and basically this is just gonna go all the way back like so I think right here somewhere and then There we go. Because that's just a new thing that we added to the power consumption, right? Because each one of those guys take a lot of power. So don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. <laughs> now we got position lights all along the, this. And this one over here. Attacks aren't too bad, actually that let's take a look at a radar man that's cool I just love how that looks all right those radar units really make it look a lot smarter man we got a large area covered hey this is all our territory here pretty much you know it's essentially with the biters all pushed back on our borders and uh, yeah wow got to go on a slaughtering spree here soon all around our borders, but that's okay. We need to build up some ammo. We got this bad boy here. Where's the next one gonna go? Probably just past the base somewhere, or right in the middle of the outpost here. Probably right up here. So let's kind of scope that out and see. Oh, look at this stone, my friends. Stone. We definitely need this. And I don't have the active provider because I put it back. I put it away. That's okay. I'll just put this one here. We'll figure out what to do with that later. I would need uh, robo ports, which we don't have. Maybe we can place some more power here. I do want to hook this into the main system, maybe at some point, just for the the consistency sake, right? So, um, would I do that? No, because. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. We'll do that. We'll wait till the deposit's completely gone. We'll do that. Okay. We definitely need to rip this up. Not sure how we'll do that. This is filled up with barrels as well. Yeah, unfortunately now it doesn't matter about storage. <laughs> how is this stuff doing here? Still got plenty. I'll go down here. Probably fit in some more s solar panel arrays. Like that. Okay. Do that. Now we can take this one out. Oh, but we need power for this boy, right? Shoot, I forgot about that. Or do we use the smaller one like that? That way then we can put power. Like that. And we can build this one like that. 
Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, anybody coming into attack? I don't see anybody. Okay. Where's the train? I don't see it. It's either here. So it's probably in here. Because you'd see it in the tracks here. That's why we need to put these radar units here. Alright. It just, it just works. It just works better. That's all. Okay. Got lots of ammo here. Let's kind of run this way. Let's hop out here quickly. Boom. Okay. Let's check out what's happening up here so this one's done okay so we don't need uh, we still need this one to maintain the connection let's take a look at what's happening up here this is a roboport let's open this up okay this is gone 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 this is gone. So basically, this is it, right? This last guy chewing this up. Okay, well, we're going to have to keep that there then. Man, we're just going through a lot of this stone. There's more stone over here. We'll definitely have to tap into this one. We can do the whole deposit like so. We can put one of these guys like so as well. Hmm. So we need more of these guys, the logistics stuff. Okay, well that's fine. We're doing the radar, so. Yeah, almost there. I have a funny feeling it's going to be right here somewhere. Maybe up a bit. Maybe right about here. Oh, and to the left. Let's just watch those borders, see if they disappear. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think we're going to be about right about here. No, right about here. Yeah, it looks good right here. Perfect. Let us position it. Okay, let us put a laser turret on the outside. And then we'll put a power, which power has to go beside the laser turret. All right, and then we put in a light because that's what we do, and we put it like that. Put a turret there, let me put a turret there. Oops, there, 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 and then we load these bad boys up. And let's hook this in. Yeah, we're going to hook this into the main power, I think, too. So let's see if we go up here. So let's go up like this. And maybe one more down like this. Yeah, perfect. Then we can put power and pl or <laughs> lights. Like that like that and then we can put in a box let's see here because those lasers are going to shoot and it's going to consume the power so we need to hook this into the main system unfortunately do like this perfect okay so that's in position now Okay, so how do we hook this all in? What's the best way? Probably just straight down the road. That, oh, there's our train. There's our train. Probably loading everything into the box here, which then gets loaded into the train. So let's take a look at this. So there's there's some barrels in there, then that's what we want. And I think because the barrels are loaded, There'll always be enough for everything, I think, and that's exactly what I planned, right? Then, then this part of the train basically is the stone and the copper and the iron, right? Which we can kind of probably change these into stone, probably. 
you've changed five of them into stone to start hauling more stone, but in the meantime, this is completely full. And tons of stone in here. That's why we have these these guys. And yeah, it looks like the, the iron looks like only the one side for some reason. I wonder why. What happens if we turn this guy down? Oh shoot, where's that coming from? What's blowing up? Oh man. We got a problem on this way, so we're gonna check that out. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't like seeing explosions. That's bad. Very bad. Um, okay. So what were we doing? I was distracted. So we position that. We need to hook this into the power. Train go. Okay. Uh, maybe we can hook it in from this way. So. Let's see here. Yeah, and just continue probably in a diagonal pattern. Like that, and just keep going. So I'm gonna shift, I'm gonna press and click, and we're just gonna go like this. And it should always position it where we expect. Unless there's a tree in the way or something silly, like go that. Oh, that didn't positioned like that that's a perfect spot because it now hooks in here actually we should make it hook in uh, like this kind of this way just that way there's more yeah, let's do this now we run back up this well we're gonna run back up that way once we we need to pick up some stuff I have a logistic robot for some reason. Okay. That's right. Okay. Uh, what else is down here? How does this happen in here? Or is it not happening? Um, we need some more of these guys. Unfortunately. And then we need some more of these guys. There's always lots of these ones. They don't seem very expensive to build, right? Actually, we got a pretty good amount of circuits coming through now. Is that because the iron's all backed up? It's probably all going completely down that way now. Okay. I guess that's the thing, right? Um, are these all functioning or no? Why not? Oh, because we, do we need alien signs? Why are these not working? But oh, because the purple's up, so this is the blue. Where we need these green things. So, so we basically need smart inserters. Ah, so basically production has gone down, has ground down to a standstill. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Right? The funny thing is I could throw 200 in here, but that's not going to do anything. Because this will reduce the amount coming down this way. Oh, look, there's already lasers here. Let's grab some lasers. That's going to use more resources. We need to make more circuits. That's the conclusion. So circuit needs copper and iron, right? Hmm. Well, there's this iron here. Why are they putting stuff in there? Interesting. Where's that coming from? Oh, it disappeared. Okay. Well, anyways, we need to go back up there. We need to go back up to here but I think we've hooked them in now through the power right and so yeah so let's just let's just go back up there and carry on that's fine this will research the rocket silo 
So we don't need to really babysit it. Should be using a vehicle maybe, but that's okay. I'm glad we have this path here. Glad I have the lights. I'm glad the train does a lot of the work. Yeah, those guys are fairly close up there, hey? Okay, let's... This is looking good. And basically, as this gets ripped up, we will move it along. Same with this idea here. As it gets ripped up, we will move it over. So, this is a long project. So, we might as well turn all the floor into concrete there. Uh, let's see here. What do we see up here? I have this guy, this bad boy up here. We don't need this anymore. Um, so, if I do this... Uh, I want to make sure it doesn't go into the this, this system, right? I want my robots to pick it all up. Oh, no, don't come, robots. Go away. Oh, that's fine. So what will happen? Or will they bring it to me? No, they'll take it away. That's fine. What we're going to do is essentially take this stuff back. Uh, they should be coming, they should be dropping it here anyways. So we'll just kind of, we'll let them do their thing. Do that. Do that. Do that. <laughs> do that. Now I think we're back to normal. Okay. That's pretty funny. I guess there's lots of stones, so I'm good with that. Okay, so the next radar unit. Let's go up to the height and then go to the left. I think about we'll like that. This is boring work, but it needs to be done. And once we have this all up, we won't have to worry about biters spawning in these areas. And I think that's what they're for, all of this stuff, right? Yeah, we're gonna have to take care of those biters up there. They're close. Okay, I think we'll put them like right here, the radar unit. Let's do that. Okay, let's put a laser down. Okay, let's put a post, which we need more of. I should have brought more. Crap. Uh, we'll just, we'll make them 5, 10, 15, 20. No big deal. Uh, do we have any lights? Let's make more lights. 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, let's put a light. Like that. A turret there, a turret there, a turret there. And then we can do this. Okay. And let's do a wall. I really can't make a blueprint of why I don't know I really can't make a blueprint because I need it to be able to be rotated essentially right and so yeah uh, let's do that okay and then let's let's hook it in how do we want to hook it in uh, I think we'll do it like this ah uh, here we go right and then we'll hook it from there. Okay, so we got that there now, which is nice. We don't need this anymore. And we need to place some more of these. And what this was, is this was going to be an array of, of solar panels. Just going to build a small 3x3 three three patch, right? that uh, let me do that I was gonna build a stop here for the train to pick up the stone oh yeah I think we if we do this the robots should clear and then place yep that's cool uh, how about this then uh, okay so it looks like we're out of the other parts that stinks. Okay, no big deal. So now, the 
This is hooked in. Let's hook it in with the other part of the system too. I wasn't going to do that, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Um, the whole point of this is to be powered up and hooked in. And so, yeah, so it's always good to have redundancy. Um, it's always good to have access to the entire your network of power. Do that. Do that. Okay, so we got that. Now let's take care of this business up here. But you know what? I'll do that in the next episode. So thank you. Uh, so, so just before I leave, let's ignore those guys and go over this way. I see what's been happening here. This is what's been happening. They've been slowly pounding on this stuff. Almost makes you want to put in um, like a laser turret. Where are we? These guys, these bad boys are right here. See what happens. Okay, we'll see what happens with that. See how it drains our power. Uh, this guy is done. So we can probably dismantle this. Yeah, or we'll just do that. <laughs> that works, that works, that works. Okay. Um, let, this will be 7.8 thousand. Wow. So we will need to balance this. And let us do that. Perfect. Looks funny, but it's balanced and it works. 2.4 thousand. How's the... Ooh. Here it is. It's coming empty. There's a few here. Yeah, okay. So cool. How's this coming along? Very slowly. So we don't know what the point of these are for. Maybe initially in the beginning, right? Um, interesting. So, oh, we need to repair these. So let's let's put in a laser bat turret back here too. Because uh, it's a waste of ammo, really. Um, let's put a laser turret back here. Sh should be no issue, but... Uh, 19,000 to go there still? Okay, perfect. Lots and lots of resources. <laughs> So go back with all the iron, throw it into the system. Up here we got these guys, you guys going. Here we have copper, and we haven't done anything with the copper yet. That's why this is here. Hmm. And then we got more copper up here, which we kind of started building for, <laughs> which is funny. So where's this guy gonna go? This. Uh, yeah, okay, so we got repair robots up there though, so that should be okay. Uh, let's see here. Might put in some laser turrets. I will follow the suggestion of, of that person who commented many episodes back. I just wasn't ready, I, f I felt at the time, right? But now I think it's time to roll out the big guns, right? So let's put that there. I'm gonna put the laser kind of towards the outside of our base, right? Like away from us. And we put power. And we put a light. We always put a light. Where's that coming from? Yeah, the same side. Robots will fix it, I think. It's because it's that one on the corner, I believe. Um, the corners need to be kind of diagonal instead of what they are. That will kind of prevent damage, I think. Um, that, 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 that. Okay, perfect. Now let's hook this in. There we go. And then let us provide illumination. Like so. Do we have lights here? I don't see no lights here. Here. Oh, here I see some. Okay. That's excellent. So that is doing that. A radar unit is in place. So re the reality is, is we need to go on a killing spree. We'll probably kind of go 
down uh, this way we'll hit this place probably hit this one then go up this way maybe hit this one here hit these guys maybe not maybe I don't know we'll have to hit these kind of swing up this way swing down uh, yeah maybe we'll see where the attacks come from and go from there oh look at that look at that you see them coming in let's see what they're gonna do ah, they still get damaged so the lasers have a good range let's see how did the power consumption go um, spiked up but it was able to produce cool so that works out quite nicely so really what we need up here is something like this we need to place a robot a robo port and then so what we should do is like at the other place put a couple robo ports maybe with some of yeah okay so i'm gonna run back down and then we're gonna call it an episode here so let's see here there's more iron here don't have to worry about running out more copper here. Okay, this is the car. So, so we're waiting for this production. That's what's taking forever, and that's slowing down because we're we're using resources. We're using them here constantly. Well, that's because these are using them. So we need to increase production of circuits. I know I keep saying that. I'm just kind of thinking out loud. And I'm just trying to figure out how exactly we want to do that, right? And then the, you know, all of these, these bullets and stuff will continue to be produced. And that like that. How are the batteries? Ooh, the batteries are doing beautiful. Or beautifully. Oh, but still can... That's interesting. Okay. This is not full. I want that to be full. How about the gas? Oh, that's why. So I might have to start cracking these two things. But once this fills up, then what do I do? Uh huh. Because that's only for basically this stuff. Sulfuric acid. Unless we turn this off, use you build up the sulfur. So what that will do is that will build up sulfur now. Alright, and it will use up this stuff. Hmm. I don't know, I'm thinking here, thinking here. Don't want to think too loudly. Let's just Let's carry on the process. Once this gets to be full, we'll then disengage it. And yeah, then we'll go from there. Then we'll let it deplete and then we'll engage it again. That's kind of the plan. Uh, down here we have this stuff happening. So all of these like that. Let's actually do that. Stone being offloaded, right? That's what's happening now. And throw the logistic bot into the wild. Um, this is still constantly full, always though. That's interesting. Well, once this deposit disappears, this will all go, and then this will be the sole kind of line coming in. So we'll we'll reduce these down to one line and hook it into here. Uh, what's this one? Yeah, this one's still 2.4. This one up here is probably the same, 2.4. Yeah. And on top of that, we still have these deposits here. So let's take a look at them. Okay. Do we need this robot over here? See this one right here? I don't think we need that one anymore. Let's take a look in it. Okay, let's pick this one up. Yeah, I don't think we need it, which is good. Let's take a look at these drills closer. More closer, more closely. 
Okay, uh, this one is done. This one's done. Uh, this one, no. Okay. So these are all still lots of resources, just don't use as much. But copper's still coming in. You can see it. Let's run back this way. I need to put more kind of pathways, I think. Uh, got this one. I wonder if we have it balanced. Yeah, yeah, okay, that, so that is the balancer. It should be pushing everything to the other side. I think, yeah, so... Yeah, no, this is operating as fast as it can, basically. So we'll do that. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, check this out down here. This is part of the logistics system. And this is almost complete. I got lots here. Okay, no, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, yeah. So, thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this episode. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye bye.